Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So, oh my God, for so long, I had this bear. It's a Stife bear. And a Stife expert had told me that this is actually a 1950s original teddy. And look at these horrible eyes somebody put in. It's like some kind of shoe button eyes. And because the eyes went missing and they're God awful. So I just, uh, like a week ago, I ordered glass eyes. Um, they're hand blown. And they're made in England. Um, I got a whole bunch of different colors and different sizes because I have no clue. Since this is the first time I'm going to be restoring a teddy bear, I have no clue whatsoever what size eyes to use and what color. So I ordered like $70 worth of glass eyes, which I'll probably use in the future if I can figure out how to restore this teddy bear. I'll restore other teddy bears that I get that are missing eyes. And I got it from Edinburgh Imports um, in California. So I'm going to take all the eyes out, which is, oh my God, like at least 12 to 14 pairs. And I'm going to uh, put it up to this bear. I'm going to take these ugly plastic shoe buttons out of the eyes right now. And uh, I'm going to compare all the different sizes and all the different colors and see which would look best on this bear. So hold on a second while I get everything out of the box. Okay, so I just got these horrible, ugly, I don't know what the hell they are, uh, some kind of glass button eyes out of this bear's uh, head. And uh, so now I'm going to uh, begin to see uh, what eyes are going to go best with this bear. And uh, so we're going to see what's going to look the best. Now, uh, what's good is it already has eye holes. So I can just uh, push the needle into the head with the uh, thread and get these glass eyes on. So I'm going to show you the different glass eyes that I got. And uh, we're going to figure out which one looks the best and what size looks the best with the bear. So hang on one second while I get everything out. Okay. So these are the needles that I bought. They're all different sizes and they're gigantic. They're enormous. I got the eyes, as you can see here. They're all um, prepackaged with uh, different sizes. They were different colors. I also got special thread. It's called eye floss. And so let's begin. Let's see what looks the best with this bear. So I don't know. It's a little, hmm. All right, let me look at the other ones. That's not so bad. Okay, so that's maybe. You get it. Well, I got clear. And the good thing about clear, well, that looks ridiculous, is that you can paint the backs of the eyes and you can paint them with paint and then it, uh, you can make them any color. So that was like an idea in case uh, none of the other eyes looked, you know, the colors that I got look good. I got um, different colors. I got topaz. I got a light topaz, a medium topaz, and a light smoky topaz, and then I got amber. So let me see. This is, looks like the, yeah, this is the light smoky topaz. I don't think, I don't know. That actually looks good with the nose. All right, let me see what else I got here. This one looks like, a, um, I think this is the medium topaz. Well, the, no, this is probably the light topaz. All right, that's an idea. I'm not sure what I'm going to decide uh, to pick yet. I got, again, different sizes. That probably is way too big for this bear. Yeah, he's going to look silly with gigantic eyes like that. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep uh, putting these up against the bear just to see which one I decide to use. Yeah, I don't think that color is rich enough. And then again, this is like a light, smoky topaz, I believe. Yeah, that's way too light. Okay, so I'm going to decide. I'm going to decide which one I want to use out of all of these and which size looks the best. I'm going to keep uh, putting it up against the bear. I'm going to take them out of the package, actually. And these are the old buttons. They're just disgusting. And uh, when I'm ready to put the uh, thread and needle into the head with the glass eyes, I'll show you. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know how bad I'm going to fudge this one up. So just hang in there, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I didn't attach um, the eye I chose yet, but um, I think this one looks the best. Um, I just stuck it in the little hole that was uh, in the head. And so I'm going to actually use this one. So it's a medium topaz color. And it goes really nice with the uh, with the nose. So I'm going to go get the thread and needle. And I have to pick which needle I'm going to choose to stick into this head. So hang in there and I'll be right back. Okay, so I chose um, an 8-inch needle. 
and I put the floss onto the uh, needle with the eye and I'm going to insert this needle all the way into the head where it comes out of the back of the head and I'm going to pull the loop down the back of the neck. So I'm going to begin and show you in a second. Okay, so what I did was I threaded the needle just like any other needle. I um, fed it into the hole where it once had button eyes and I put the needle through the head on an angle until it reached down to like the very back of the neck area where it meets the, um, I mean, I'm sorry, the back of the head where it just meets the neck. So it didn't get into the, um, I, th I forgot what that, that swivel joint. And so it's on a diagonal. As you can see here, now I'm going to cut the thread and leave it hanging out. And I'm going to do the same for the other eye and I'll show you what I do at the end. Okay, so before I pull this eye on the string that I threaded on the end on this big needle, I just want to show you where I'm going to, so I'm going to pull it in the eye into the head on an angle. So it reaches the back of the neck. Now here is the other eye. And you see how I got the needle in, in the same spot on that diagonal on the back of the neck. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to tie these two strings together and the eyes will be set into the head. So hang in, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I got both eyes in the head. And I'm going to show you what the back of the head looks like with the string that I pulled through. So each string is considered the one, you know, each eye. I'm going to tie these two together in a knot and then the eyes will be affixed uh, permanently. So hang in there and I'll show you the uh, finished uh, results. Okay, so <clears throat> after all these supplies um, that I got, you know, wastefully, I shouldn't have gotten all those different sized eyes and different colors. Um, but since I'm a newbie at restoring teddy bears, this is my first restoration. I uh, had no choice in a way because I didn't want to get the wrong size and the wrong color. So I'm going to actually buy bears that need to be repaired now that I uh, actually know how to restore these old bears. As you can see, look at those beautiful eyes. Um, they're like a lovely, like almost an amber shade of topaz. It's a medium topaz color. And I'm trying to, because uh, the lighting is not very good in my house right now, I'm trying to make it so that you can actually see it because without the lamp above this bear right now it looks like his eyes are black but they're not they're a beautiful beautiful shade of brown as you can see here and so he's all fixed and he looks a lot better I was terrified I was so afraid of restoring this bear and doing it wrong honestly I've never done anything uh, like this before I'm so terrible at needles and threads and things like that I can't even barely sew buttons onto things so I saw a video with another YouTuber showing you how to uh, replace teddy bear eyes and she was so good at teaching that I, the person that can barely even sew a button on to, you know, to, to a sweater, um, was able to replace these teddy bear eyes. So this is really, really, really like it's giving me a, a boost of confidence and I'm so proud of myself right now, honestly. And uh, so once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on my little journey of trying to restore an old teddy bear from the 1950s. And this Stife bear has a new life to it now. I mean, look how cute he looks. He looks absolutely adorable. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.